Mac, you got the floor. A young woman in Ohio is having health problems while she's pregnant. She tries to seek help at the local clinic. Unfortunately, she previously sought care there and has a $100 uh, copay out of pocket. Right now, she does not have the money to pay that $100 out of pocket, so the clinic will not see her. Eventually, she, she sees care 30 miles away, but unfortunately, it's too late, and both the baby and her die. Cases like these are very common in the world today, which is why the U.S. must have a universal health care system. More and more wealthier patients are getting more health care rights and treatment, and everyone needs the same amount of care, which ultimately leads to longer life expectancy. Health is not a right, it's a privilege, which is why the U.S. needs to have a simple solution and produce a program that involves the government paying for all health care services by using our everyday taxes. Seeing the hospitals today in America show us more and more wealthy people are receiving more health care rights and treatment. Actually, the head of hospital worker union confirmed that wealthy people get preferential treatment and regularly jump the line of healthcare at the hospital of Los Angeles and across the country. Many more segments around the world are naming this crisis healthcare versus wealthcare. In most people, um, the wealthcare get wealth, wealthier people get higher on the organ donor list. A doctor from the UCLA Healthcare Institution brought forth information that confirmed that favor of the wealthy. The doctor explained that the Capital and Maine News Group, we have one healthcare system for only 1% of everybody else. In addition to wealthier people receiving more treatment, everybody needs to get the same amount of care, which ultimately leads to longer life expectancy. According to the regression model, the more sanitary vaccinations, examines, and associated with significantly increased life expectancy. Everybody getting the same amount of healthcare means no wealthy person gets higher on the donor list. The wealthy people do not get all the good medicine and the wealthier people do not take away the good doctors from others. With these things, not a factor in everyday life, more <coughs> people are able to live longer with the same amount of healthcare. One of the biggest and strongest topics in healthcare right now is a privilege. We need a system that works not only for millionaires and billionaires, but for all fellow Americans. Americans should not fear that if they lose their job or switch jobs, that they will lose their healthcare as well. Everybody in the United States has rights to health care. Around 100 million people are pushed into extreme poverty each year because of out-of-pocket spending on health. Imagine if you just got laid off from your job because you hired too many workers recently and you have been there the longest. Your job just paid for a health care plan which helped you cost of your daughter's cancer treatments. But now that you do not work there, you, you have to pay all out-of-pocket money for her treatments. You start to run out of money, you start to sell things that eventually you lose, and you lose your house because you cannot keep up with your monthly payments. With that in mind, I have a simple solution. A program that will help any patient in need and enforce that no doctor is allowed to turn you away. This program uses our tax money and uses it towards universal health care for all Americans. Our tax money that we pay on everyday basis includes taxes like your sales tax, your property tax, your income, and your payroll. These taxes will pay for any service you will need. The only product you will have to pay out of pocket for is your prescriptions, and even your insurance will have a discount. The government will be paying 74% of your health care bills. Without my plan in place... Uh, wait, I missed 74%? Yes. You said, okay. Without my plan in place, many more Americans will be pushed into extreme poverty. Many more people will be pushed down the donor list because of wealthier people. But just imagine if the girl in Ohio <coughs> had the option to universal health care. Her baby and her would, would have received the treatment they would have needed, and, and so many others. With these things in mind, the United States must have a universal health care system. So more and more wealthier people do not receive better treatment. Everybody gets the same amount of health care, which leads to longer life. And health care is, is a privilege, not a right. These are why the U.S. needs to have a simple solution and produce a program that involves government paying for all health care services by using everyday taxes. Just think back to the girl in Ohio who didn't uh, want to be the, like her searching around for help when it ends up being too late. If you see this plan in place, you will receive more health care than anybody else. Well done.